Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, it's actually a project I've started December last year. So these are pumpkin butternut squash seeds that I've received randomly along with a bunch of other seeds. I'm not really a fan of any pumpkin or butternut dishes per se. In fact, I hardly recall the last time I ordered one. But anyway, I have no discrimination whatsoever when it comes to planting them. So the seeds are relatively larger. I find larger seeds a lot hardier when they turn to seedlings to be honest. My go-to germination method is again, prepare a plastic container, fill it up with a paper towel, and place the seeds inside. Water it with warm water, but not too hot or it will kill the seeds. Cover it and seal the plastic container. Once the container is sealed, wrap it with a black plastic bag and place it next to a window seal. And the next step is just to wait. So today is the third day and one of the seeds have actually germinated. It's quite fast surprisingly because it's written about 7 to 10 days on the seed packing. But I have no complaints though. I've prepared a potting mix in hand, so I'm just going to plant it in a shallow hole and water it. So the rest of the seeds have just a hint of the root peeping out, so I'm just going to leave the rest of them till it grows a little bit more. So today is day 5 and I hid into a small snag. Thankfully I kept the seeds as backup. So the last batch of soil oddly turns oily-ish after watering it and the seed buried died. So on the flip side, I've ordered a new batch beforehand and they have arrived this morning so I'm just going to transplant the two new seeds and replace the old one. So it's day 8 today and these two seeds survived the new batch of soil. So far so good, one of them has even emerged from the soil. So I'm checking up on the balanced seeds and another one has germinated. Unfortunately I ran out of space but I'm still going to keep it just in case. Today is day 10 and these two seedlings are growing tall. So the leaves are sprouted and they look adorable. I really want to plant one more of these. So the third seed has grown visible roots, but until another plant dies, I've no idea where else to place it. So today is day 15. So another plant of mine really did shrivel to its stuff, so I managed to plant the third seed. <laughs> so here's three of them in a row lined up by height like Dora Mi Fa So I kind of Reminds me of a cucumber seedling, only that this one leans towards the thicker end. Today is day 29 and two weeks has passed. Look at how big it has grown. I've recently reported this too, which is the first batch into bigger pots. You can't exactly see it from here, but the leaves are actually quite big and the stems spread pretty far out. I've added a bit of fertilizer to it as well. Today is day 42, it's starting to get bushy and heavy. One of them is starting to need support, so I'm temporarily using this chopstick for it to lean on. I've also moved the third seedling into a bigger pot, and one of them is unfortunately wilting a little. Hopefully it isn't a fertilizer burn. What I realized about fertilizers is that either do or die, get boosted or shrivel to death. So today is day 64, bad news and good news. The wilted one didn't make it and the good news is that I'm left with two that are super boosted by the fertilizer. I've upgraded one to a bigger pot down here and the other one on the upper rack. I wonder if the leaves are sweet because all the ends are attracted to them and only this plant. Today is day 74 and 10 days has passed since and it has been growing like a teenager in puberty. I've taped the string into the window as a somewhat support. You know, so far this is turning out to be one of my favourite plants. The leaves are thick dark green and big, looking kind of grand. And the bottom one is slowly creeping up to the upper rack. It's now day 84 and look at how leafy this is. So I had to tie the string around the main stem to kind of lift it up, because right now it's just leaning heavily on the window flopping over. It won't stop growing, so I wonder when it will start to harvest. Remember I mentioned the second one was creeping towards the upper rack? It's grown about 10 inches plus since, about to dominate my dwarf bean space.
So it's day 97 and okay, one of them is super leafy and the other one is really tall. So this bushy one is starting to look like a flower arrangement. Look at it, elegant curls here and there. And let me show the other one. When I say tall, it's literally taller than I am. It's spiraled all the way up to the third rack. I can't even reach it without a chair. I think this is by far my largest plant grown indoor. So today is day 107 and I woke up to a pleasant surprise today. There's a beautiful yellow flower on this tall one. Look at it. I'm quite excited, hopefully it'll start fruiting soon. Regardless, I feel like an expecting pregnant mother. There's a few other flower buds here and there. Can you see it? There's about one, two, three, four more flower buds. For the other one, it's still yet to flower, but it's growing even more sideways and upward. It's a little more space consuming than I expected. Today is the 123rd day and I need to report this plant, that is after figuring out how. So this pot is definitely too small for this one. So like all the other plants around it are starting to be stunted due to the lack of sunlight. So it's been a long time since the last update and nothing has changed unfortunately, except for the fact that the plant has grown monstrously big, way too big for my high-rise condo. So my window was starting to look messy and they were creeping all over my other plants, literally strangling them with their vines. So the one that flowered never fruit, it was kind of sad, but anyway, I found out that it was a pollination issue. It was flowering and growing like crazy, but no fruits. So and apparently in one plant, there are male and female flowers, and if there's no bees or insects to pollinate it, which obviously my living room is bee-free, I had to do it manually by hand. So anyway, long story short, I decided to cut it off and start again. It stems new shoots very fast and on the flip side, my window doesn't look like a jungle anymore and I'll be prepared to do the necessary for it to fruit. So though it didn't harvest, at least I've learned a thing or two and I'll try one small preparation this time. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for updates and more videos. See you again soon. Bye!